Hello YouTubers, Caleb Mitchell with Country Outfitters here with another review for you. Today I'm going to do the Avian X Lesser Goose Decoys. I have seen a lot of mixed reviews on these on the internet, but none of them seem to hold the opinion that I have on them. So, here's the background. Uh, we ran these with our regular full bodies last year. We had four dozen of these, and we have put these lesser decoys through the ringer. Some of the things that I see on the internet, poor paint. Let's address that first. Uh, let's see, shine was a factor. I did not see any noticeable shine when this was new out of the package, nor do I now. At least not that a goose would notice. Maybe to the effect that real feathers shine, but I mean, let's face it, these things they don't they don't glare sunlight off of them by any stretch. Color. Some people said they were too yellow. I actually laid this uh, or not this particular one, but I, I laid a couple of these down next to live dead geese just for color contrast. I don't have the picture that I took with my phone, sorry. But these were actually closer in color to the live lessers that we were shooting this year. So we're closer in color than the Avian X full body honkers that we also have in this bread. Slightly darker, at least this lot or batch or whatever you want to call it was slightly darker than the full body honkers that we have um, but the color was spot on I mean fantastic uh, paint adhesion now like I said these have been through the ringer a full season of hard hunting you can see there's a little bit just scratching off it's it's the avian X material so they're they're soft you know they're malleable they they aren't gonna break when they freeze you know they're they stay pretty bendy which is fantastic um i would say the paint on these holds up just as well as all of the other decoys i've ever used if not you know if not better than at least the same as the best i've ever used i mean we throw them in the back of a trailer we well actually these you know these come with bags let's address the bag real quick well all right, so that one's full of decoys. The bags stink. It's nice they come with bags, but they're kind of like sandpaper. It's probably why the paint is gone on the... Not gone, but scratching on the back of that. But it is nice to have the bags. It's very nice. Um, they aren't going to protect the flocking because when you put them in these bags, the heads stick out. But they're handy. And 180 bucks shipped. Fantastic. Honestly. Uh, I'll talk about the steaks real quick. This was a concern I had with lesser decoys. They're on steaks. They're not on stands. Uh, the last time that I hunted with steaks, it, it had been a long time. So, you know, forking over the dough for a whole bunch of these made me nervous especially late in the season we hunt on some some ponds break some ice make get some holes open and i knew there was no way to stick one of these in ice and i was worried the fields we hunt the dry cut cornfields i was concerned that if they you know if they got iced up and froze we wouldn't be able to get these in it was a non-issue it was not a problem these went in perfect we actually what we ended up doing with all of them you know we had 48 of these steaks we just stuck them in a big five gallon bucket or eight gallon bucket and uh one guy would just go around me <laughs> where i wanted all the decoys and i just stick the steaks in and everybody would come behind me with the bags of decoys and plop them on the steaks got the nice green tip on them so you could see where they are and uh worked out very very well um the steaks are long i thought that maybe it would be a little weird having a goose Sitting way up here in a cornfield. Well, let me tell you something. 
cut cornfield, these things were so visible when we'd prop them up higher. So we actually started not trying to hammer these things all the way down in the ground. We would just, you know, get it comfortably snug, pop a decoy on there, good to go. And they look really good out there on these stakes, man. They move well. They'll move 90 degrees if you want them facing a different direction. See that little nubbin, that little notch right there? You just move it. There's four different sections inside the decoy. So it'll go 90 degrees whichever way you want it to go. Pretty cool. Good system. Overall rating, let's say A minus. I really like these decoys. If I had to do it all over again, completely rebuild a spread, I don't think I'd have any of the honkers or Bigfoot B2s or any of the junk that we run. I'd get some shells still, but full bodies, I'd go all lessers. They sack in the trailer better. They're super visible, even though they're smaller. You know, I've set the decoys out and left the field, drove into town, got breakfast, left the decoys out, come back, and a mile away, I can see that decoy spread just fine. Smaller size doesn't matter. As far as uh, hunting the pond edges, that's the only downside that we've had with this. But our compromise was we just stuck them in the shallow part of the water in the hole up on the stakes. You can't set them on the ice like you can, you know, a full body with a stand where you push the, like the Avian X ones, you push the stand in, set it on the ice or set it on the snow. Can't do that with these because it's just a round bottom. They just fall over. So that'll be your minus on the A minus. But other than that, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thanks for watching. Good hunting. Caleb Mitchell, Country Outfitters.